In this video, we will perform a combined optimization using Hypermesh and OptiStruct. We will try to couple topology and topography optimization into a single setup to increase the structural stiffness as well as reduce the weight of a component. I recommend you to watch my topology and topography optimization videos so that you understand every step in the setup process. As the setup process is long and involves many steps, I have predefined a base model by specifying certain initial values. The link for the base model is provided in the description. Feel free to download it and use it to follow this video step by step to get a clear understanding of the overall analysis. Let's get right into it. Once the base model is loaded, we can observe that design and non-design regions have already been defined in separate components. Material and property is also created and assigned. Lastly, a linear static analysis load step has been defined for coupling the applied constraints and loads. Let's create a new folder to save the model. All the data generated during the analysis will be stored in this folder. Now open OptiStruct tab from Analysis panel. With Export options to All and Run options to Analysis, click on OptiStruct to launch the solver. As the run is complete, we can view the results in Hyperview. From Contours panel, click on Apply. Let's probe the locations of maximum and minimum displacement. This is the node ID at which maximum displacement is observed. We will use this in the optimization setup. Now that we know the performance of the non-optimized component, we can use these results as a base for the optimization setup. Let's start by creating the design variables for topology and topography optimization. These variables need specific parameters to be defined based on the type of optimization. Let's take a look at how these design variables can be defined. Let's start by saving a copy of this model in a separate folder so that we can start with the optimization settings. Open the optimization tab from analysis panel. We will first define the topology optimization design variable. With a proper name, select type as p shell. Select the design property and create the variable. Switch radio button to parameters. Toggle the minimum dimension setting and enter value as 10. Click on update. In the pattern grouping section, set pattern type as one plane symmetry. Let's adjust the view so that we can correctly select the nodes to specify the normal direction of symmetry plane. Select center node as the anchor node and this node as the first node. Update the variable. Now let's create the topography design variable. With the design property selected, create the variable. In bead parameters, set minimum width as 6. Enter the draw height value as 4. With all other settings as default, update the variable. In pattern grouping, switch to one plane symmetry. We will again select the same anchor and first nodes like we did in case of topology design variable. Now we will create two responses, one for static displacement and one for mass. The displacement response will be linked to a constraint in order to reduce the total deformation of the component. The mass response will serve as an objective for the weight reduction. Let's create a new response for mass. Select response type as mass and click on create. Now we will create a second response for displacement. Select the type as static displacement. In the nodes selection box, we will use the by ID selection criteria 
and enter the ID of maximum displaced node as per previously observed analysis results. With DOF2 selected, create the response. Now let's create a constraint for the displacement response. Enter a proper name. Check the box next to upper bound and enter value as 4.6. Select the displacement response and assign the analysis load step in selection box. Create the constraint. Now we will create the optimization objective. In this case, we want to minimize the mass. The optimization setup is now complete. Let's specify some additional parameters and define some control cards to extract the required results from the simulation. To observe the optimized shape during post-processing, we will add the shape card from control cards panel. Set the type to all and format as H3D. Now save the model. With run options set to optimization, click on Optistruct to launch the solver. This might take some time to solve. The run is now complete and a feasible design has been obtained. Now let's load the results in Hyperview to view the optimized shape of the component. We will also observe the deformation plots for the non-optimized and the optimized shape of the component to verify our simulation setup. Let's view the results in Hyperview. We will split the graphics area into two parts to view the optimized shape and corresponding displacement patterns simultaneously. Open the optimization.s1.h3d file in second window. Now let's synchronize the two windows. For better visualization, we will hide the results component from both the result files. Go to contours panel and apply the shape change for 0th iteration. View the corresponding displacement pattern. Now switch to the last iteration to view the topographically optimized shape. The corresponding deformation has reduced as per given constraints. Select element density and set averaging method to simple to view the topology optimization. In the ISO tab, select the element density option. With averaging method as simple, Click on apply to remove the excess material. Now we can adjust the ISO value as desired to add or remove more material in the optimized pattern. We have successfully combined topology and topography optimization to reduce the total deformation along with significant weight reduction of the component. And this is how we can perform combined topology and topography optimization using Hypermesh and Optistruct. If you like this video, please hit the red subscribe button and give a big thumbs up, it helps a lot. Do watch my other videos to learn how to set up and run simulations using Hypermesh. Thanks for watching.